Good morning, everyone. Here is Liang Kang. And I think we still have two more minutes to go. So just sit back, relax. And I hope all of you have enjoyed your breakfast. Today is Monday, and it's a positive Monday for all of us. So uh, another one minute to go. So how are you during these last few months? And especially during this second eclipse period. So today, basically, we will be, I will be sharing of some of the information or methods that I use that helped me to embark the new normalcy. So, uh, one more minute. <laughs> uh, so, a little bit about myself. Um, as you know, my name is here, I'm Bianca. I'm with uh, Orange Tea for five years. So, just today mark my five years and six days anniversary with work anniversary with Orange Tea. Throughout the last five years, I am very grateful that I managed to work with a lot of wonderful people and they really helped me a lot in both my personal as well as work development. So now it's 10 o'clock. So I think we can start now. <laughs> Sorry, because I'm now uh, just looking at the screen. I cannot see your chat or your message. But in the event, if you have any question to me, feel free to type in the chat box. I will try my best to answer as much as possible. Probably not the end of this session, but at the end of the day. Okay, so uh, like I mentioned, I have been in this uh, at, uh, with Orange Tea for the last five years. And my journey with the orange tree was very, was very exciting. And I'm very grateful that I have been working with a lot of the leaders, trainers in my last five years. And this really helped me in my development as well. So uh, I'm very happy today that I have the, I'm given the opportunity to share with you guys what I have done for the last few months to help me to embark in the new policy. And I truly hope, uh, I hope that, I hope that this may help you in your career on your daily life as well. So, um, let us begin. Let me see. So, first of all, I believe these are quite some of the very common terminology we have seen so far throughout the last few months. We started from the Toscan, Toscan yellow and changed it to orange in February. And we practice temperature checking, one meter safe distancing, LA, SHN, contact tracing, putting on the mask, and in April, circuit breaker kissing. With this, it has a mandatory work from home. And our children or our students also they have a home based learning. But at the same time, in April, we also start our live streaming sessions. It has, we have conducted at least 40 to 50 series. I think it's more than that because it's a daily event that we have a lot. We have our wonderful trainer, wonderful leaders to share with us. What are the their essential, essential tips when they are during this circuit breaker period? And now the office has resumed, reopened, and we are in the phase two of the post circuit breaker. So how do you feel? How, how is your last viewing in the last weekend? Especially after two weeks that the government has released the measures that allow individual salesperson to conduct their viewing but kept at 5%. So let's examine some of the key information during this circuit period. So I believe this is something that is quite mm, familiarized. You might be quite familiar with this change curve, Cooper Rose change curve. It has been also highlighted by one of our speaker, Mr. Tang, external speaker, during his sharing, party Monday sharing as well. So right now, let us examine this curve again, see where we are now. So the curve basically split into two parts. In the beginning, in the first part is 
somehow we were in the negative emotion. We were frustrated, we were depressed, or yeah, some of us might depress. We were angry, denial, shock, and by looking at the, by comparing the new change with the past. That's why it creates those unhappiness. But after when we went through this circle, we will start to looking at the future, looking to the future. What do I mean by that? We will start, I believe that all of us have start experimenting something, start the new initial, initial the new engagement, digital, whether or not digital engagement, whether or not the, with your clients, and maybe you have, maybe you have making new decisions in your work processes so that you could continue your business as smooth as before. And you might also integrate the new changes into your daily work activities. So as mentioned by Vincent last Friday, whatever change is a norm. It is normal for us to have changes in life. Just take it as normal. So don't be, we, what we need to do is to embrace the new changes, difference, and make it as another norm for us. So during the last few months, we have examined some of the so-called as a new normalcy in our daily life. For instance, we have the work, quite a number of us is actually work from home. And this, even though it's uh, maybe among our clients, a significant number of them still working from home, even after post kit better. And also we have the studying from home, not only for the children, also for the adults, a lot of free complementary adult educations or adult courses that is available for all of us to do sign up. And all of that, all of this is going through online. Also, we meet, we still engage with our clients, with our fellow colleagues through the digital mode, be it Google Meet or Zoom. And this is very effective because you actually remove the distance and you don't need really need to travel for the face-to-face -face meeting. And this is important. Whatever we do is whatever we need, it starts from basic necessity, from dairy milk, or whatever that we last time maybe from buy from the retail shop, now we turn on to the online store, online market. Lazada, some of the platforms, some of the other platforms might be some of the quite common platforms or apps that we are quite we are using it now to meet our daily needs. And we also celebrate through online. I still remember during the last uh, Mother's Day, we, me and my siblings, five of us, we celebrate our Mother's Day with our mom through messengers. So how we did is my mom actually, my mom just used a messenger by herself. So she just went in the messengers with them. We set our check group, then we, just, we have our celebration day. Her gift was, of course, is delivered by the delivery man. They directly to her house. It's a memorable event for all of us. And one also, this is one another factor that is uh, important, which is all of us start to take note about our personal hygiene be it when wearing a mask when we are going out or keep washing our hands as and when you need to. If we can, then we use a hand sanitizer to make sure, sterilize our hands and make sure our the people, if ourselves, as well as the people around us are safe. So these are the current, some of the current trends that I noticed that has been a uh, new normalcy. So how do we what other tools can help us to perform equally better or even better during this normal new normalcy? So here are my some of my recommendations. So first of all, under Orange Tea, we are grateful that we have this Orange Tea Agent app. With this app, you will have all the information under your fingertips, be it the historical data, the transition information, your bankers, re bankers record, your listing, and many other tools that you need is all within this agent app. So if you haven't downloaded this agent app, 
please do so as soon as possible. The work, the login is the same as your work at home login. And also next tool that we have, property agents review. It's a very, it's a proven tool for us to get qualified new leads. Why is it proven? Because Jasmine Chan in her last, last few rounds of sharing as mentioned, she has acquired quite a lot of the listing leads, the landlord, the tenant, or even the sellers call her directly to seek her help to market the property for them. So it is so powerful. If you haven't updated your personal profile, please do so as soon as possible so that the clients will be able to look for you to market their properties. And we also have G Suites. That mentioned by Marion and Sharon, G Suite is very, very powerful. It really is our workload. So that way you have to know that the, under Google Drive, we have a lot of folders, a lot of files. You need not to save it under your thumb drive or under your computer. You can save it under the Google Drive. Why Google Drive? The reason is because you can access it anytime, anywhere, as soon as, even with your mobile phone, as long as you log into your Gmail. So it's how powerful it is. And Gmail at the same time is also giving us a lot of added advantages, such as under Gmail, there's one function you can add to tasks. In the event, if you need any follow up with your clients for that particular email, you just need to go to the top bar under one of the selection add to tasks. Then set the timing, set the purpose, set the, the things that you wish to, you need to follow up and it will be an auto reminder for you to do the task accordingly. And our Google decalendar, the email, the, the Google form, all these are very, very helpful for our daily work itself. Mm -hmm. This tool is, I think, is quite familiar for all of us, right? Google Meet as well as Zoom. Even for our training, we also start with the Google Meet and now we are changing to the Zoom platforms. Both are equally important. And if you were there to have a meeting together with your clients, you can easily set up a Google Meet invitation with your clients. All you need is their email address. So just go to your calendar, insert the details, send um, and then insert your client's email address, then just send it to them. It will be a Google Meet for you and your clients itself. The same goes to Zoom. And from here, there are some other external tools that I believe it might be helpful for us, especially when we are conducting the real estate work. So these are some of my recommendations. Let's go on, let's go through it one by one. So the first thing that I wish to highlight probably is on Canva. Canva is a very powerful tool for image. For even in the event, if you wish to design any of the image itself, likewise under this template, you can design uh, EDM or you can design like the, your email, your e card and your brochure, your flyer, or even a, an, an animated social media post, just like this one, as simple as one, two, three. Just need to create an account under Canva is complimentary, is totally free. Once you create, choose the template that you want to create. That template is always customized based on the social media platform that you need. For instance, this one is actually for a Zoom background. This is one of the latest uh, development that they have, all are complimentary. And here, these are the storyboard. In the event, if you have some, you wish to come up with something more creative, you could use that storyboard or infographic. These are something that you might want to consider when you are designing some of the flyers for yourself. And for Canva, it has another, another feature for it is the mobile version, which means that you can download this mobile Canva and the function is as good as the desktop. Both equally are complementary. How does Canva's Canva charge is? is done by in the event if you use any template that is required some of the payment that it will be charged accordingly um according to my experience some of the, the template itself if it's chargeable probably about one dollar or two dollars it really depends but there are free templates 
is really sufficient for us to use for our daily business. So on top of Canva, how are we going to engage more virtual engagement? So like Canva, we can send the cards, we can design some of the EDM to our clients. And also at the same time, if you think that Canva might not be able to give you more, or you need more images, these are some of the recommendations. So like Pizza Bear, like Unsplash, Petsa, or Flippies. For Pizza Bear is the one that I would like to recommend. The reason is because it's totally, absolutely free images. You do not need to attribute no requirement for attribution. Unlike Flippies, you will need to have attribution to the, on the order itself, and it has to be based on the format. And Splash and Petsa also some of the other platforms that you probably can find some of the images that is, you would like to use when you are designing something for your clients. Okay, then the next one, we will have some of the video marketing. I think video marketing is the two uh, trends now. So like video marketing, it can be done very simple by using TikTok. Personally, I use it. The template is very easy to use. What you need to do is just to upload the photos that you want to choose, you, you would like to have, set a template, choose the duration, and upload the photos that you wish it to be, uh, pre uh, present. After that, you just need to do some amendment on the texting, etc. Then you can have the video to post it to your social media already. And the next one is Simple Show. Simple Show is like you are designing um, the back end AI. How they do is how they did, how they do is actually they uh, capture the your keywords in order to come out with all these infographics, in the, all these images. And as like you see in it's a lot of the social media or your Facebook, there's a lot of people currently using Simple Show to design their video. So how you do is you create your storyline. Then from the storyline, the Simple Show will create the image for you. Once it creates the image, then you can choose to publish. And for Simple Show as of now, it's still complimentary unless you choose the pet version. The, com the free version still comes with all the essential tools. Sometimes, sometimes you might find that the images is not engaging or might not be able to present the idea that you wish to, please, you wish to have. You can upload your own photo. And then from here, just choose the, the keyword itself on which photo that you want it to present for the, the keywords. And also at the same time, for Simple Show, the free the complimentary account, right? You will have the, even though the, the sound or the audio is actually only one sound itself. However, you can record your sound, you can record your voice and use it for your Simple Show video. It's how simple it is. And move on, we also have this Hi Ha Ho. That's the name is a bit interesting. However, this is a very interesting tool as well. For Hi Ha Ho, it allows you to use to, or you use any of the Google link, uh, sorry, YouTube link. What you need to do is just create a complimentary account, a free account. Then after that, it will come to this dashboard. Insert the link for your YouTube account. Once you it's done, you can choose what are the amendment or improvement you would like to do for the specific YouTube account, YouTube video. Like probably you would like to have a full screen then with your image and then you just maybe you say something for your video. Then after that you would like to skip something and it jump to the next part, etc. So it is somehow let you to customize your own video and it will allow you to and for you to engage with your clients better. So all these are as mentioned are complementary. Just feel free to give it a try. And another thing I think all of us are very familiarized with is the Google Earth. It's also another very important tool. If you are not so sure about Google Earth, it's very simple. What you need to do is just go Google, type Google Earth. It will bring you to this patch. So once it's here, just launch Earth. Then you, by tapping the address, it will show you what are the actual surrounding, the separate view of the, the surrounding itself of a particular location. It's quite useful, especially if you are thinking about to chat, to do some recce, 
or to do some amenity check on some of the properties such as landed properties. But just do not that because it's a satellite information. Some of the properties it might have been demolished or it might have been developed. So the property itself, it might not be so current. The information might not be so current, but the amenities wise mostly are still there. So it can be used as a good reference, especially before maybe right before your viewing. You need a quick check on the amenities itself if, if, if in the event if you haven't been to the place before. This is one way that you can actually get the information. Okay, so uh, we'll move on. Next thing is, I think some, some of you might be having the same problem as me as like working mom or maybe working date or working parents. So let us, for me personally, my, my, my greatest challenge is to make sure my boys able to sleep at night. So just for your information, on the in the last few months he was he he has broken his record that he slept at 5 30 in the morning. <laughs> so it was really frustrated because I wasn't really I need to take care of my boys. How I want I'm the caregiver, especially when the school was closed. And then also at the same time I have to pay up as a tutor, tutor as a truck. So I believe all the working parents are like that. So during the incident about when he was set, set only about 5.30, I realized that 5.30 he still never slept. I put him in the bed and ordered him in a very stern mode, that he, stern voice, that he must sleep now. It worked and he slept. But we all know that as a working parents, when we, when the kid is at home, he's not able to engage well in the morning. Therefore, he's not able to sleep well at night because his activity level is so high. So we also have our concern especially after post circuit breaker, the school is allowed to open. But we still have the, the concern whereby we, whether or not we want to send him back to the school. So in the beginning, we didn't want because they still have the community cases. So, but after a few more weeks, we realized that it's time for us to adapt to the new norm, also help him to adapt to the new norms. What are the new norms? The new norm is he must go to school, he must take care of his hygiene, he must put on masks, and he must always wash your hand as a truck. So in order to train him, just like what we have shown earlier in the Cooper Rose curve, change curve, I went through, we went through, me and my husband went through the frustration, the anger, then after that we decided to experiment something, like giving him some of the online courses in the morning as a truck. So we realized after we decided, we move on, we give him, we bring him up for a short walk at our neighborhood just at this overhead bridge we stood me and him stood in at the overhead bridge after three months he never went out from the house this, this was the first time he went out it was just not happened last weekend and he went out stood at the, this overhead bridge he was so happy he didn't want to go we stood there for about 30 minutes he happy to see the vehicles the especially the red color double ticket bus but he know that in order to do so in order to continue to see the after the outside world, he had to put on masks. He had to practice his hygiene. I think the most important thing for as a parent for us is not to, we, we all know that virus is everywhere. Coronavirus is not the first time coming to the world anyway. So most important things is we must, I believe personally, I believe we need to show our kids how to adapt to the new norm and what are the precautions that he need to do, he or she need to do in order to prevent himself to be getting infected. That's our work. That's how we realize after this. So from here, I think most of us under here, this is the as right what mentioned by Vincent last Friday. Mindset is important. For this, the new norm itself is just a normal because our life full of changes. <laughs> so but in order to add, this is some of my personal view to add on to what he has mentioned, what we can do, prepare us, get ourselves better prepared in order to face this new norm, which is to be positive, always stay positive. So positive also stands from the word, start to have from the word prepare. Get yourself mentally, emotionally, and even financially prepared when there is a new change in our life. So mentally and financial, mentally and physically is important. Our immunity will help us to defense against this coronavirus. 
or any other virus in the world. And also at the same time, we must be open. As mentioned, a new norm, a very soon it will become a norm. It will be a normalcy for us. So just be open, try it out. And always remember to smile. Your smile will bring the whole world. You will, you will have a very good, you certain you the best and the, your smile is the best and the dog you have for the day. For you as well as for your friends and for the people around you, surrounding you. So just give a big smile to all of your friends, everyone who you know. And that some initiative, I think this is important for all of us, start to learn new things. Likewise, we have a lot of the learning courses that has been prepared by the learning and development. If you have missed out the live streaming area, don't worry, always go back to the agent apps, slides and video to go through some of the class, some of the live streaming which has been shared by our leaders as well as our trainers. Also at the same time, don't forget that we have a lot of our projects, which new home projects that is waiting for you. All the information also available of under the agent app. Just grab any piece of the information for the new, any piece of the project that send it to your send it to the people, send it to your circle of influence. You might not you might not know that one day your friends or maybe your someone that you know will just come to you that express their interest that they are interested in one of the projects. And it's true for ourselves. We all know that our own potential and we work oh, we have unlimited potential that is waiting to be explored. So it is a matter of time. So don't worry too much in the event if you feel that some of the information or something especially when it come to, comes to the technology, you feel that you are not comfortable with that. It is norm. It is okay. Because that action on the change curve, we will feel in the beginning, we will feel a little bit uncomfortable. But slowly after you start trying new method that's suitable for you, you will realize that it is just another normalcy for you. Be interested in the things and also varying we, there is no point for us to criticize, there is no point to us to condemn, there's no point for us to even complain on anything around us. So I believe that most important thing is we value what we have, appreciate what we have, and do the best out we can do. And last is to embrace on the what the new normalcy and make sure you integrate to the new normalcy and make it just a new norm for you. So with this, I will end my sessions. For your information, this, this little heart is done by my little boy. When one day I was uh, sitting in front of him in, in his room and then I was busy over my work, then he just passed this to me. He said that he loved me. So the love for this one, I wish to. Love is everywhere. I believe that family is our the best support for us, no matter where it is, where we are. So for, the, for this, I wish to wish all of you to stay healthy, stay happy, as well as to stay safe. And the last part is in the event you have if you have posed any questions in the chat functions, I'm sorry that I might not able to answer it now. But not to worry, because our admin backend will be able to consolidate all the questions and I will come back to you as soon as possible. Bye today. Sorry, because thank you very much for your time. Let me, I'm going for my meeting and I hope that all of you have a wonderful day. Thank you.